mere seconds, a guitar is going to majestically appear where there currently is none. And it will be the greatest magic trick YouTube has ever witnessed. Observe. Pretty sweet, huh? <laughs> Can you dig it? <laughs> Hold on. Well, howdy folks, and welcome back to my laboratory of the house that never sleeps. Um, got an Ibanez here. I've had this. It's been here for a while, and I need to get this thing fixed and get it back to the owner. It's a Ibanez Performance 12-string model. Really good sounding guitar. Uh, the model number... I don't have my glasses, but I think it's PF5-12NT. I'll check that when I get my glasses in a few minutes, but I think that's what it is. Uh, got a few issues with it. It's got a little bit of a belly back here. Really a good sounding guitar. It's just, uh, I'll show you what's wrong, what needs to be done, and uh, we'll jump right into it. Here's the bridge pulling up here. Um, also... So I got the strings tied off up here with my oxygen tube. <laughs> Hopefully I won't need that tonight. Uh, I'll give you a little rundown of what's going to happen here, what we're going to do. I'm going to heat this bridge up. I've got a little uh, temperature thing here. I can 
73 degrees right now is what the bridge is. 73.5 degrees. Uh, we're going to heat this up. I'm going to attack it with this. And we're going to heat this bridge up to about 125 degrees, 130, 135 max. And, uh, in fact, I'll just turn this on and let it be warming up. And, uh, I'm going to take that bridge off. Start back here where it's coming loose already. And we are going to re-glue it. And make sure it stays this time. So this is going to take a little bit of time, obviously, and I want to make sure I don't get any heat on the face of the guitar. I want all the heat to go right onto that bridge. In fact, I'm going to have to turn it up some, I think. So anyways, I can check this. 133, 152 is coming up quick. So I'm not going to bore you to death with all this right here. I'm going to pause the camera here and uh, get some heat on that and start uh, taking the bridge off. And I'll bring you back then. Good old Gatorade. You can't beat it. Yeah, I just can't beat it. So, this bridge, uh, I'll tell you what, it was glued on there pretty dang good still yet. These 12-string guitars, from this area, if you can see that, in the front of the bridge to the back of the bridge, the thickness of it from the, from the front right here where my finger is to the back of the bridge, it's uh, wider. It's wider, you know, all the way across. It's wider. It covers a bigger area. And there's a lot of glue under there. There was a lot of glue under there. It came off pretty clean, but if you look, if you can see this, right here is the back of the bridge. That's where it started pulling up, right here. This whole area was pulled up. And you can see why, because there's no glue. There was no glue at all right there. And if you look at the front side, the side of the bridge that faces uh, the neck, let me get the light. Now, you want to show you this. I hope you can see it. All the way across this front side and this little bitty uh, piece here on the wing had no glue at all. This one they glued the whole entire wing clear out to here but you can see all the way across here where there was no glue and you can see down the side uh, of the wing right here there was no glue whatsoever there. And like I say, there was no glue on the very back side right here that pulled loose. I got a little bit of wood there, but it's just very little bit. It came off fairly clean, but my God, man, it was glued on there. <laughs> I don't think it would have ever pulled off, but it had pulled up enough. Uh, you know, the back had let up enough to raise the action quite a lot. And there's a forward bow in this neck right here. The, the relief is way too, too much. I believe with the relief, and we may have to remove some from the saddle, I don't know, but I need to drop the saddle. Ah, uh, what do I do with it? Well, it's, here it is. We may have to uh, remove some from that saddle, which is plastic, uh, you know, but we got. I think we're going to have plenty of room there to do that if we need to do it. So anyways, that's the story, and I'm sticking to it. Came off nice, man. It looks good. I'm going to rough this up. I see where somebody scored it really deep. One score across. That's all they did. I'm going to rough this up. This entire area. And, of course, I'll rough the bridge up. Clean all this stuff off. And uh, score it few times and we'll glue this puppy back on let it set for 48 hours and then we will uh, what do we do what do we do what do we do put the bridge as a saddle back in it um, check the uh, relief and start setting it up I guess I want to polish those frets too man they aren't they're not they don't have any wear on them but very little bit of wear very little bit, so I don't. I'm not going to bother that. That's fine. There's hardly any wear at all there. 
they just they need polish really bad. I mean, they just they feel gritty. But they look gritty. They are gritty. <laughs> We're gonna fix all that and uh, get this puppy back in playing condition again. Man, that bridge was a bitch to get off of there. It was really, really, really tight. And like I say, from this is what I was talking about. This is the back of the bridge. This is the part of the bridge that goes toward the uh, neck. Let me turn it over like this. This is the back of the bridge, the very back of the guitar back here. This part goes toward the neck. And this way is really, you know, it's wider this way than most bridges because it's a 12 string. And because it's wider, there was a whole lot more glue under here to have to cut through. So, but we got it and it's pretty, I'm pretty happy with that. It never chipped out. Didn't, uh, you know, a little bit of wood here on the bridge. I'll clean all that off and uh, repair this for glue, get everything ready. And, uh, I guess I'll bring you back when I when I get uh, something done. Hold on. Well, um, because of the way the bracing, X bracing actually, runs inside right underneath these wings where I need to, uh, really need to put clamps on the sides. Now this is a heavy piece of aluminum I've got on here. I've got leather underneath each wing. And I'm going to cut these wedges off shorter so when I start clamping that I'm going to put a piece of leather between the bridge and the wing or between the wing and, and these uh, wedges like so and as I tighten this it's going to smash these down as well and then I can tap them in a little tighter once everything once I'm as tight as I want to go here the leather just protects the bridge itself from getting scarred up this will rest right on top of the brace now I have some little cups here that go on here that go around the brace you know that would uh, put pressure again uh, more of the brace rather than just a flat spot Anyways, I've got to go up to the shop and cut these shims out. These, so that's what I've got to do. I've got to go to the shop. I've got to cut these a little shorter. So, uh, okay. Let's do it. Well, folks, got my Gatorade going here. Uh, got glued up, clamped. Uh, that's a huge bridge on this thing. So i got uh, a big aluminum bar across the top of it. Because it's so thick this way, like we talked about before from the neck side to the bottom end of the guitar I had to use uh, these shims and put in underneath the ends of this aluminum bar so it would shove the wings of the bridge down and it worked good because I had a lot of squeeze out came out of there I got all that cleaned off now and all we can do now is just set and wait 48 hours we'll come back take all that crap off and um, string it back up and then start setting it up set the neck relief is just horrid it's got a terrible forward bow in the neck so we get all the action and everything I'm probably going to have to sand some off of the saddle here most likely maybe not maybe when I get the neck relief right the action will be you know pretty close I want to also polish those frets before I do that may do that off camera too uh, just trying to speed the process up. So anyways, we'll be back in 48 hours and take all this crap off and continue. See you then. So I went ahead and polished the frets already now. That's already done. We're ready to put strings on it. we still got to wait 48 hours for this all to uh, set up. And then we're going to come back, take all this junk off and put strings on it. Set the relief, set the action, uh, the string height, all that good stuff. So that's where we are now. Watch for part two, folks. I got my little helper here, by the way. His name's Jove. Jovi, tell him. There you go. Say peace, dudes. Peace, dudes. See you on the next vid. Tell him. See you on the next vid.